Yes, 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 y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are welcome to the Atmos Room by me. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Today I'm going to do a breakdown of this soft, juicy, my piano beat that I made about a month ago. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been thinking about doing a breakdown for this beat, but you know, I've been busy in things. So I'm just going to walk you through my process, show you the sounds that I used, and maybe hopefully you can pick one or two things from this video that you can use for your own beat. This is a very, very simple beat. It sounds very good, but very, very simple. There's not a lot going on. We're going to go over the beat in sections, right? And talk about what's happening at every section as we go across the whole beat. There's not much happening for the intro, actually. I think the first thing I added here was actually this part. This is from Toxic Biohazard. Where's that? And yeah, this is called All Souls. It's a lot of dope sounding toxic ballads at four on my piano. And then I did this one of my favorite bass from. Ooh. Yeah, Liquid State Goal 1 or Liquid State 1 Goal from Hamless. Hamless, another plugin that has a lot of dope sounds from my piano. And then I have this FX clap here just to make things interesting. <laughs> that sounds very good. Yo, right, there's a lot of tension as you can hear. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And yeah, we have shakers. Two actually. I think on one of the shakers, I'm using a kickstart to create this bounce that you hear, like the subtle bounce. Yeah, that's for this one. Right, so I have kickstart doing this thing, that side chain effect to create that subtle bounce. Oh, you know what? I sent both of the shakers to this channel, so yeah. And then there's a sample that I recorded. Yeah, that's just going through some reverb and I'm messing around with the pitch a little bit. Yeah. I mean, when you hear this intro, you already feel like something serious is about to happen. I mean, let's go. And then we go into the first verse. Now, this is where the drums actually come in. And I'm not doing so much for the drum, actually. So the first pattern, I have just the kick. Usual soft kick. And then I have this simple percussion loop, right? Oh yeah, so I have a fruit delay that I added to this particular song. Listen, I like using delay for percussions actually. You can use it to create some very nice dramatic moments. Right? And then, you know, we have to shake off. Few impact sounds here and there. You know, just to accentuate that beginning. And then this is where the main chord comes in. Very simple beats, just bass, pad, and a chord. Now for the main chord, I'm using this Auto War from Analog Lab. Very, very simple, classic guitar sound. Yes. Right. This is going to my reverb and delay bus, right? And also my instrument bus where I'm doing a bit of light compression, you know, with the Pro C2. Doing beats like this, in my opinion, is very nice because now you give the artist room to shine, right? Let's see what else we have here. Ooh. I love this riser that goes back and forth. That's actually quite sick. And then I did the roll here. Right? Very, very dope. Cut everything up, put a roll to create that. Rah. Mad. So, this second part obviously is like the chorus. So, I just added another pattern, right? And here I have a snare and I have crash.
it's very very dope to play with your note velocity because you can actually create some very very unique drum rhythm like listen like this goes yeah 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 right and goes i've panned all of the crash hits to different positions to create like a very dramatic feel as well so because you go center right Little, little things like this will just make your beat sound very, very dope. Mad. I added another guitar from Analog Lab again. So nice. Like, listen. This one is auto wow. Auto wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but it sounds very, very creamy. That with the original guitar just creates this very nice, macho sound. Listen. Let's add the part to it. Ooh. Throw in that bass. And I have this ghost loop. Bro, I'm just saying shit. <laughs> Mad. And as usual, you know, you have the log drum. Just the standard log drum preset, and I layered it with the sine bass from DX10 as well. Let's listen to that. I did a roll here just to, you know. See what I said about playing with your velocity, right? Mad. Create tension and release. Very, very sick. And then I added some more synths to this hook part as well. This one is from Hamless. I think this first one is just called Hamless, right? And I have this flush it out one go, one playing high octave, one playing low octave, I think. So let's just wait. Yeah, low octave, high octave, and I have this single sound from Hamlet's just going. Very simple stuff. Bruh. This beat is simple. Nothing much is happening, but all of this obviously is going to my reverb and my delay buzz to create that dramatic and big sound. <laughs> simple and then i have a short bridge here that goes into the second verse i'm using the second guitar right and the part just to create a moment with the shakers as well and then the bass comes in simple stuff and then goes into the verse the same arrangement as the first verse To the chorus. This is the kind of vibe that I think Tyler would like really go on, right? Or Aya Star. I say Aya, be Aya, Aya, or Aya Star. <laughs> like, listen. The outro is just guitar and a bass. I mean, you can literally count how many instruments I use for this beat. This is just an example of less is more. 
basically yeah i'm going to just end the video with the whole beat as usual so you guys can listen to it and enjoy it but this is where i'm going to end this video and i hope you got something from it if you did make sure you leave me a like and subscribe if you've not and if you need to book my services for mixing and mastering stereo and dolby atmos you can use the engineer's link in the description below or you can hit me up on instagram at benny mccauley db if you've not listened to the project atmos ep i'm going to leave links down there below as well and if you're a music producer and an artist i want to record yourself and you have logic i have a logic pro recording template down below as well with a free afrobeat preset in it all stock plugins all you need is just logic to have fun okay and if you want to support me beyond your likes and your subscribing which i appreciate you can now join memberships on the channel you get perks i get to treat you as a vip when you drop a comment i get to reply to you first you get exclusive videos that every other person will not see and if you join the atmos room gang gang a because we have three tiers you get to send me five records or five beats monthly for review and if there's problems in your mix or anything me and you are going to fix it together so this is just a quick video and if you have questions make sure to leave in the comment section below so that's going to be it for now i shall see you on the next one benny mccauley out <laughs>